Hi Gemini, this is your channel messages for the 14th of October. Good morning, Television Jamaican Studios. I don't know what happened last night, but apparently Neville wanted to come true. What is Neville's last name? Is it Neville Bell? I believe it's Neville Bell. So ne Neville, good morning. Neville from Television Jamaica. I was getting you last night, sir. No, you never ever pop up in my life. In my life before. I don't know what is happening with TVJ, but I heard that Neville, Neville, may hear something about Neville. Neville. Something about Neville Aguan from TVJ. Let's go ahead and go into your reading. This could be something about your health. This could be something about colon. Something about your colon. Something about your prostate. Colon or prostate, me getting. Are me getting something about your health? We getting some about Neville Bell, which is a football coach and t and host of TVG, right? We have judgment. Yeah, we getting you waiting on the results of something. Are you waiting for something? We have Virgo. I don't know what Neville Bell's birthday is. Can't get it that way. We're getting something about him birthday. Virgo. We're getting a Virgo here. Okay. We have bears. So something about you lose something. Or a Virgo lost something. Somebody lose something. We have temperance, the angel. We have 1111. And we have the strength card. It could be something about your heart as well. Like, a, like a, I don't want to even say it out loud to even risk that. But I'm getting something with your heart. The strength card, 1111. You and somebody's going through something at the exact same time, though. No, let me switch deck. You and somebody's going through something at the exact same time. But this morning I was, I was hearing TVJ, I was hearing Neville Bell. I was hearing Neville, not Neville Bell. I was hearing Neville. Judgment is a hierophant. Yeah. May I hear something about Neville? Judgment. May I know if this happened to something with church, religious sector? This is weird. May I get you already a plan your, 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 your burial. You already a plan your funeral. I'm getting you and your wife a talk about death. You and your wife a talk about where you're going to get buried. Yeah, your wife, I don't know if you're sick. I, I feel like you're sick and you're not telling people. Do you have cancer? The Hierophant, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Beers is the Emperor. We're getting only one other person know. Does Simon know? Because remember, Neville and Simon were so-called best friends. Everybody knows. Those were the two Jamaica's TV best friends. Neville and Simon. And then I split up Neville and Simon. I went, but Simon did go. Simon did go on sports betting place. I never stayed on TVJ. No, this could be something about you and Simon. And, and I know that Simon had this really, really bad eczema thing. Remember, he had really fucked up eczema. He had a bad case of eczema. It would always itch him really bad. Bad, bad, bad. I don't know what it was, if it was eczema or if it was like something more severe. But we're getting, we're getting something about these two. Both of them people here is big, big people. So this is you and your pastor or you and another man in the entertainment business. This could be your boss. Virgo is a death card. Yeah, me getting something about your health. Me getting something about Neville health. Virgo rules the health. Virgo rules the digestive tract. Virgo also rules fitness and gym, like gym and, and di digestion. Me getting something about your health, your health. Me feel like, me don't know if you tell people, say, oh, this is my final day, or oh, I will be retiring from, me don't know if you might retire from coaching or if you might retire from TV. Me getting your health, you have a health scare, something might go on with you. Me getting your prostate or your colon. Me literally getting something where you have nine months for life. If it's not Neville, me getting somebody around Neville. This emperor, me don't know if you're your father 
or your boss me getting somebody help to deteriorate now is a Virgo own. No, me getting somebody health maybe deteriorating because some something else is coming into fruition. Me getting the prophecy I get fulfilled. And a part of the if the prophecy gets fulfilled, the Virgo are dead. Eleven eleven is the Queen of Wands. This could be something about your wife too. Me getting your wife at all about something. Or you, you, have a, you and your wife have the same sickness. Is this AIDS? You have AIDS? I'm not saying never have AIDS. I'm saying to Gemini. Gemini, you have AIDS? We're getting somebody have AIDS. 11 11. Yeah, both of them have AIDS. This couple have AIDS. Both of them have AIDS. Are you taking an AIDS medication? Because that's usually why people will want to know you're on AIDS. Not you're on AIDS, you have AIDS. Even though yeah, people know you have you have AIDS, it's very fucked up because it's stigmatized to this day. But sweetie, if you have AIDS, I'll accept you more than half of the people I'm out there who is molesting them nieces and nephews and the parents has yet to say anything, okay? So if you have COVID-19, guess what? I will still accept you. If you have AIDS, guess what? I will still accept you. But if you are a woman abuser, you can fuck off. Here we go. What is the temperance? Is the hermit a Virgo? So the death card I clarify her uh, Virgo and the angel I clarify hermit. Actually, hermit is clarifying the angel. Now, if we take these two cards together, we have Virgo and we have the temperance. We have Virgo and we have Sagittarius. And if we put these two cards together, this looks like a ghost, doesn't it? It looks like a ghost. Yet the ghost died, or the ghost are look for death. Or men are known. Me feel like yeah, yeah. Me, you know, like the story of Harry Potter. Me getting like like your welcoming ghost. Like like you live so long, you yeah look for death for comfy and you know, I know that can't find you. Literally, me getting yeah look for death. Maybe you're looking for a reason to die, Virgo. No, me, me coming at your blood clot. Oh, come here one blood clot box. So what you look for reason for die? Looking for reason to die? You better die 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 die. Uh. Die 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 Day 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 Come and get in y'all, yeah, yeah, look for a reason for death for come. Like y'all yeah, look for a reason for take your life. Y'all yeah, look for a reason for death for find you. Why you want death to find you? Death want a day off. Him can't get no day off. Death want a you know who death is looking for right now? If you feel like leaving, I'm not gonna make you stay. Bazoon you Death is not looking for him. Death is looking for his vocal career. Maybe it's time Karnikova did take up back that tennis racket to support the family. Maybe, okay? If, if she feel like... I mean, you don't have to hear if you play tennis, right? Because I'm pretty sure her eardrums is non-existent anymore. So I'm getting Karnikova, you can't still play tennis with your eyes. You never really need your eardrums. Enrique Singlesias needed your eardrums, apparently. So yeah, I'm hoping you're not looking for a reason to die. You don't feel suicide? Is that what you were telling me? You come here on the 14th, today is Thanksgiving. You should be thanking Allah. You come here telling me you're suicide? For the why? For the why you suicide? Hmm? Did you get dinner last night? Are you getting Thanksgiving dinner now? Yes? Hmm? It, is Little Caesar still open? Yeah. Then for the why are you suicide? For the why? Talk to Allah. What's the strength card? The strength card is two of ones. Maybe thing you don't even know why you feel this way. Or I'm getting um why I don't know if I just say your mental health. I'm getting something about two, it could be three very powerful men. I'm getting one could be connected to the church. One is a business owner or your boss or a CEO. 
I don't know who the other one is. I don't know if I your father or your grandfather. But me getting something about your health, a health scare, or your health. You need to go test up for something right now. You need to do a test. Maybe you're scared, like doctor will tell you, oh, we need for the prostate examination. And you're like, I'd rather die than to make a doctor push them two fucking fingers up in my fucking asshole and test if there's a fucking prostate there. I'd rather fucking die. Maybe that's what you wanted. I should have sued dirty blood clot, Dr. Watson. You remember Dr. Watson? I don't afraid for I don't talk, you know. I'm not afraid. Dr. Watson, that dirty fucking doctor that was beside... I don't know if a doctor, Dr. Watson was a woman. She have another doctor in there, one male doctor, that dirty man. Every female come in her office, he want to push him and up in her ass. And I don't even believe that those ghetto women knew that they don't have prostates. You know that? Those ignorant ghetto women who were having sex at a very early age because man did already exploit them or their mothers were single moms. So as soon as their child became develop a man start look them with them would have tell them child for the talk to men and beg men stuff right i swear that dirty blood clot doctor the place is right beside noel's pharmacy which is in cohesion of Walton park pharmacy which is a pharmacy i used to work for at least five years right but in back up many day one time i'm going noel's now there's a doctor's office in noel's pharmacy right at the blood clot bridge you have a doctor man in there if you're bringing your girl's daughters in there make sure say so you go in there with her i'm gonna put on glove and want to shoot two blood Flat finger up in her ass and women don't have prostates so you tell me why the fuck was i violated when the fuck was i violated when i was working at the pharmacy you know why because i saw marine emmings tell the blood clot doctor for pushing two fingers up in the bum so i could have turned me into a fucking dog the same way they turned pretty down into a fucking dog that's what the fuck they did, and she did it right after her fucking nephew um, 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 completed his veterinarian fucking course. But nah, I don't blood clot suck. I don't care. I ain't got no clue. Sweetie, I don't have shame when I know how much money I'll be making in the future. So no, I, I'm not shamed to talk about certain things. I am not shamed to lose a date. I am not shamed to be uh, looked at weird in the street. I know how much money I'll be accumulated every year annually. I know what my tax return may look like a couple of years from now. So I don't have any shame. I can buy. I can buy back my shame. It is fine. <laughs> Let us go. Just like what Kim Kardashian did. You do you know, have you fully got? Hollywood takes your daughters and then turn them into sluts and whores. If there's anything I could give to Chris Jenner, it would be thank God you turn your daughter thank thank God your daughter bust out in Hollywood as a whore. So you so Hollywood gonna turn her in a one. Thankfully. Thankfully, the first time Hollywood see a daughter, they saw her labia. Thankfully. Because anyway you take it, your daughter going innocent them about turn her in a whore, just like all them that try for the Zendaya. Zendaya there with one man, Tom Holland. Zendaya taught us what it was to fuck the system. When you say a white man control the system, Zendaya was fucking the white man. Zendaya got it right. Zendaya went, wasn't a step. Zendaya wasn't going to be the motherfucking bitch to be sitting at the back of the bus. Zendaya wasn't going to be a, a, like Harry Tudman trying to get those slaves to freedom. Zendaya was thinking about all niggas of all skin colors, of all acting careers, man. Disney Channel are fucking not right. And we look what them trying to do, Zendaya. Turn around on one blood clot whore. Turn around on slut. Turn around on one cunt. Turn around on blood clot prostitutes. When they had that movie with her and the two men never fucked on the bed. And only Zendaya could have pulled that off. Zendaya is the only woman in Hollywood that could pull out something like that and still come out looking the way she fucking look. Thank God the Dutty Roach never behind her, right? Okay, fine. Thank God when Kim Kardashian was going into Hollywood, her labials were already open for Hollywood for say. Because that's what Hollywood do to your children, to your girls. You know, see what happened to, to, to Haley Bailey and, no, Haley and, Haley and Chloe Bailey. No, no, everybody know how Chloe nipple them look. Isn't Chloe one of the most so isn't her parents one of the most strictest in Hollywood? Okay, great. So that's what Hollywood do to you. They will take your girls and turn them into whores and sluts. And then take your sons and then turn them into fucking drug mules and turn them into pimps. 
So at least, at least, at least, that is one thing I can say for the industry when it came on to Kim Kardashian. Even though people say I'm not a sick no blood clot for, for, for watch a sex video of our daughter and to make sure so this ever leak. This is true, that's sick blood clot business. But guess what? If, if Chris Jenner never do it, another man in Hollywood would have. Another man in Hollywood with a record, secret record, him and Kim Kardashian and a fuck and leak it. What did Paris Hilton get out of her own? The night in Paris. Yes, she was already a heiress, but I mean, when Fiat wanted to come out, okay, well, all right, cool. Did he give her more fame? Because she was already a heiress. I remember, men remember if a Paris wanted to come out first or Kim wanted to come out first. Remember, who was sexy to come out first, Paris or Kim? You remember? Okay. So at least Chris Jenner, at least Chris Jenner did swallow the tablet and said, Chris Jenner did this and swallow the tablet and did this. And said, Alright, my daughter about Hollywood. I don't know what the fuck that happened. She probably overdosed. She might be a single mom. She might be a whore. Or she might be on drugs. Alright, if there's any way I can kind of navigate this, let me navigate this right. You don't want a narrative? Get the narrative that my daughter is a whore. She ain't no murderer. She ain't no killer. And she not swear for nobody and she not hide nobody's secret and she not, not a part of this so-called ring, this PDD thing. I hear Kim Kardashian name, right? Call the whole PD the thing. When I hear fear name get called. But at least that is, that is one thing I can say Chris Jenner did well. Miss Jenner. Miss Jenner. Miss Kardashian Jenner. That's one thing I can say. I can give you your props to ma'am. As a homeless woman coming to a real ass business woman, right? At least I did make your daughter be a whore before she go into Hollywood. So, you, so Hollywood will turn your daughter into one. Because they're going to do it to our worse. I'm going to leave it here. Until next time, bye.